breaking. Major Dem just expelled from office after being caught. Enjoy prison. It is almost becoming laughable the number of Democrats that are being caught in scandals and crimes after years of pretending to take the moral high road. For years, we have heard the left claim how they are the paradigm of morality and that it is the Democrat Party that stands for women rights and so forth. Well, that is going to be a hard sell in the future for these so do-gooders since most of their party now stands accused of sexual misconduct and corruption that can land many of them behind bars. Over the last several months, the Democratic Party has faced one sex scandal after another, and it does not appear to be stopping anytime soon as these liberal politicians are being discovered for the perverts they are. Just in the last several weeks, two top Democrats Senator Al Franken and John Conyers were caught embroiled in disgusting sexual behavior that prompted them to resign from their political positions in power. And, now before the dust has settled another explosive sex scandal has emerged involving another Democrat that has the left reeling and another seat up for grabs after being expelled from office. After Donald Trump won the election last November, the Democrat Party has been in shambles as Democrat leaders desperately trying to pull itself back together again. With the 2018 midterm elections looming and not so far off distance, sexual misconduct scandals have rocked the beltway resulting in numerous resignations, and now an expulsion from office. Representative Steve Lebsuck has been expelled from office after he was accused of sexually assaulting five women. Representative Steve Lebsock, a Democrat in the state of Colorado, has been caught in a horrible sexual assault scandal against five women that could land this so-called champion of women's rights behind bars for a very long time. Here is more from the Western Journal. The Colorado State House voted overwhelmingly Friday to expel a Democratic member accused of sexually assaulting at least five women. Fellow Democrats led the charge in a 52-9 vote in favor of the expulsion of Representative Steve Lebsock marking the first expulsion to occur in over 100 years, reports Fox 31 Denver. We, as a General Assembly, have a responsibility to police our own, to hold our own to high level of accountability, Democratic Majority Leader Casey Becker, who introduced the legislation to expel Lebsock, said previously. Five women accused Lebsock of sexual harassment and making repeated unwanted sexual advances. State Representative Faith Winter alleged that Lebsock grabbed her arm while she tried to leave a bar two years ago, described various sexual acts and grew angry with her when she refused to go home with him. Lebsock has denied all the allegations. The last months have been awful. I have taken public attack, after attack, after attack while I have patiently stood by waiting for due process to take its course, Winter told her colleagues during the hearing. Today is not about sex. It is about power. Ohm Republicans voiced concerns about whether due process had been afforded to Lebsock during the allegations and hearings. However, many believed Lebsock abused his power in an effort to prove his innocence and retaliated against the victims by handing out a document that detailed the sex life of one of his accusers and other personal information. Right before he was expelled, he quickly changed parties, according to his tweet. Soon after the news of Lebsock changing parties and being expelled from office, People on Twitter reacted to the news. This stunning revelation could prove to be good news for the Republicans who are running for office in the state of Colorado who may now just have a shot they need to slow the progressive liberal policies ruining the country on a daily basis. It is about time that these sexual deviants in the Democrat Party are exposed for their nasty behavior, but there is still one that needs to be held accountable for his actions, and that is Bill Clinton. The Democrats can continue to say they are sorry for their behavior and resign from office. But until Bill Clinton does it, the Democrat Party will only stay mired in their own filth.